Hello guys and welcome to another gear set review. Today we're going to be looking at the gear set Ebon Armoury. This is an easy set to obtain as a beginner player. Um, you can obtain this from Crypt of Hearts. It's a heavy armor set and it provides a nice bunch of bonuses for tanks. So bonuses of this set, we've got the two piece bonus which is 1206 max health. It's the same for three pieces. The four piece bonus is 4% healing taken. And for the five piece, increases your max health by 1,000 for you and up to 11 other group members within 28 meters. So this is a group buff set. As you can see, with the Ebon set, you have this uh, this visual, so you know that it's active. It's the uh, red orbs floating around the character. So for the Flames of Ambition patch, Ebon has become slightly less useful, and this is because characters, all characters have had their base health increase to 16k. In the past, it was just over 8k, so this made a much bigger difference. When you combine the new 16k base health along with minor toughness from a Warden, which typically most groups have a Warden healer or tank, which is providing minus toughness, which is 10% increased health. You then add in the fact that you've got the champion points where you get increased health as well, and this set has kind of lost a bit of its value. So I would still advise for like a, fer a very first tank set, this is a good set to pick up as a beginner. Let's say you're new to tanking, maybe you're a new player, maybe you're low CP. This is going to be a good set to use still for beginner players and for low CP groups. So if you are in a beginner group or a low CP group, Ebon is still going to be a useful set. The way you should look at this is it provides 12k health to your group. It's not a 1k boost, it's a 12k boost because every single person is getting 1k health. So in low CP groups that don't have the option of slotting damage mitigation champion points or even maxing out the health boost in champion points, Ebon is going to be far more valuable. It's probably not going to be used for experienced groups or groups with high champion points because they'll be able to put more CP into their max health to increase it even more, they'll be able to put points into their mitigation to reduce their incoming damage. But in beginner groups when that's not an option and low CP groups, the health benefit is going to stop people from dying. That is the main reason why Ebon is still the one of the better sets in terms of survivability. There are not a lot of great survival sets out there. This is just an aura set, you just have to be near people, you don't have to do anything, it activates on everybody. It's, it's an easy set to use, which is why it's so good. You might still use Ebon in groups um, that are lacking CP that want to use pass food. Now, that's the food that has no health buff, but it only has Magicka and Magicka Recovery. Some groups are using that sort of food now, which means they do have less health. So they have about the same health as last patch. So Ebon, again, could be quite useful in that situation, especially for the low CP people who can't go with much into mitigation. One of the common questions that gets gets asked about Ebon is do Ebon weapons work? So when you equip the weapons and then you bar swap, it appears that the Ebon buff is removed. This isn't the case. So when you bar swap, the orbs will flash for a second and kind of reset, but you don't actually lose the health buff. That was fixed quite a while ago um, in an incremental patch just after update 24. And the aura will now probably update for everyone like in the area. So you can use Ebon weapons. There's not really many reasons to do so, but if you was going to use the weapons and the jewelry, when you bar swap, you don't lose the Ebon buff. That has been fixed. That has been fixed for a while. Update 24 is quite a few updates ago. That was last year. So it definitely works now. So you can use that if you want to. So overall, in my opinion, I would probably rate this set two out of five in terms of a rating, just because it's not great for every group. If you need a heavy set on your off tank, then you're probably still going to think about using Ebon. If you need extra survival in your group, you're going to use Ebon. In those situations, it's still worth using. For a lot of groups, a lot of higher up groups, and, and a lot of groups that now are going to benefit from that high CP, they're going to be able to slot points into the health bu buffs in the champion points, they're going to be able to use more mitigation. This isn't going to quite have the same value as it has in the past. So if you do need a set as a beginner and you want to start looking into group buff sets, this is a good group buff set for a beginner. 
it's a good set for beginner groups and low CP groups. But overall, not useful for kind of a big majority of players once they surpass that beginner level and they get into the higher realms of the CP. So that's it for this uh, gear set review. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now.